Hi, I want to thank the subscriber who left the comment below about this news. It does not go far enough, but at least they're getting somewhere. California health officials have a new message for cell phone users. KPIX 5 Susie Stimel is in Berkeley with some brand new state guidelines. Susie? Well, Liz, don't sleep with your cell phone under your pillow and don't ever have it in your pocket. That's the new message coming from the state today. Now, stores that sell cell phones in Berkeley issued this same warning more than a year ago. Now the state's jumping on board. We recognize that there are a lot of people in the general public that have some concerns about their cell phones and whether the cell phone is um, using a cell phone is safe. This is a big first for the California Department of Public Health. It's releasing guidelines about harmful cell phone radiation and how you can avoid it. When you sleep, you keep the cell phone at least arm's length from your body. And also not carrying your cell phone in your pocket, having it either in your purse or not carrying it with you. The research suggests cell phones could increase our risk for brain cancer and tumors, low sperm count, headaches, impaired memory, hearing, and sleep. Currently, we're not doing a good job in, in regulating the ra radiation from these devices. In fact, we're doing an abysmal job. Dr. Joel Moskowitz of UC Berkeley says this is a long time coming. He's partially responsible for bringing this information to light. He sued the Department of Public Health for refusing to release information about the dangers of cell phone radiation back in 2009. He won. The people are being injured and harmed by the, the delay in, in having this information accessible to them. So the question remains, does this release mean the state now believes cell phones are dangerous? Not at all. Our position is that, this, that the <laughs> science is evolving. The state uh. said that one of the biggest reasons why it chose to release these numbers now is because, or release these warnings now, excuse me, is because new numbers are out showing that cell phone use is higher than ever. It's 95% of Americans that use cell phones on a regular basis, and most kids are getting cell phones by age 10. We're live in Berkeley. Susie Stonel, KPIX 5. That's ridiculous. I hope that you caught that. It's absolutely ridiculous what they just said. Now, let me point out that no state official would ever release warnings now at noon and early. if they were completely convinced that the product was safe. So for her to just stand there and say, no, cell phones are safe. Oh, my God. Why would they be doing this? Because more and more people are using cell phones? Really? If it's safe, then you would never see that woman on the news, right? Okay, why, why are they telling people to not carry cell phones in their pockets? Well, because the radiation from cell phones, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs> but then she says it's completely safe. Our Americans, when they see these news clips, are they not asking any questions about what they hear from people like this? She says, keep it arm's length away from where you're sleeping. Don't sleep with it underneath your pillow. People actually sleep with their cell phones underneath their pillows. Are you kidding me? Okay, clearly they do because that's what she said, right? Okay, if they're safe, why is she telling people to not have them underneath their pillows when they're sleeping and keep it in arm's distance away if they're safe? <sighs> they're not safe. They're incredibly dangerous. This microwave radiation is incredibly dangerous. We would not have warnings if, if it wasn't dangerous.